Hi, my name is Tom. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fake banana split right here. This beauty. It's been years that I've wanted to make this and I've put it off forever. <laughs> and I see so many of you, so many of you have made this. So um, I thought this summer I have got to make this banana split. So for this project, you're going to need quite a few things. You need your banana molds. I got this, I do believe, from Molds and More. And I've seen on Etsy um, silicone ones, so you can uh, get different ones you can buy. Um, you need your fake nuts, fake nuts, which are which is corn cob bedding. Right here, you can buy that at the pet store or on Amazon. You need all your craft paints. You need your cherries. You need your glass dish if you want to use glass. Uh, let me see, lightweight spackle. These are the two brands here in Canada. Uh, for today's video, I use this brand right here. This is way more expensive than this brand. Just want you to know that. I know in the U.S. you have a different kind. You're also going to need resin for this project. This is a this is my favorite kind. It's a low order. Love it. Hardly any smell to it. So this is the one I like. And I think I oh cornstarch as well. Your ice cream scoops, and that is everything. So. To get started, I'm trying to think where to start here. Um, first, I'm going to show you what colors I use for my projects. Um, for the banana, I use a mixture of these three, four colors. Because um, the banana isn't really right yellow, as we all know. The inside is not right yellow. It's quite pale. Uh, so I got white and a daffodil yellow, bright yellow, and I also use warm white. So just a very little yellow into that mixture that I use there. Um, and we're gonna paint a banana soon. For the chocolate brown sauce, I use a little bit of this uh, Liquitex, Liquitex paint, burnt umber, because that gives you the nice dark brown. I use a little bit of that and just your regular craft paint, burnt umber. For the mixture for the brown sauce. For the red sauce, I used, um, food dye. This is a water base, but it's better to buy oil base if you can find it. Um, and what I did, I mixed resin. I used resin for the sauce. So I mix these craft paints in, in resin. Um, and also what I'm going to show you how to do today, I'm going to mix the sauce for the toffee color. And I used um, True o Ochre and Golden Brown by Deco Art. Two different brands here. No, same brand. Yeah. Anyway, these two here I used for the toffee color. So I just wanted to get that out of the way, the colors out of the way. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, so we'll paint a banana first. And I have pre-mixed, oh, first I'll show you how I made the banana. I made my bananas out of plaster of Paris because my mold is plastic and um, clay doesn't work as well, but it's not overly deep. So you could probably put model magic in there, put it in the freezer and kind of haul it out carefully but pl I use pl Plaster of Paris, and it also keeps your banana nice and straight as well, the Plaster of Paris, no bending to it. So here's my pre-mixed mixture of all my yellows and my creams right here. It's a nice pale yellowy color, and I did want it a little bit darker than my ice cream, than my vanilla ice cream, so, so there's a little contrast there, so I made sure of that. I kept the two colors a little bit different. And here, we're just gonna paint the banana and <clears throat> I should mention as well when you use plaster Paris the um, edges are sharp but the good thing about plaster Paris is that you can um, sand it sand the edges so I just take sandpaper and I smooth down the edges and that makes a nice clean look and I did I think I did three color three coats of this And then I did a coat of matte varnish as well. Two coats of matte varnish. Whoop. I debated whether I wanted ultra matte or matte, but I went with the matte finish. So there, we've got our banana painted. I'll set that aside. And there. Now we want our banana ready for our ice cream. So you gotta make sure your bananas are all painted. Get rid of the paint on my hands. Now, I'm going to move over 
and also pre-mixed I have all my spackle and the trick with this to make your scoops it, you really need a lot of flour I put flour some people have problem with flour I've never had a problem with mold in all the 10 years I've actually made fake sweets so I've been very lucky I guess I don't know I haven't seen any mold so I use still use flour and it does not attract bugs or anything like that um, some people use plaster of Paris to thicken up their uh, spackle some people use cornstarch or baby powder so whatever you want to use I'm, I, I did use flour for this so as you can see it's really really sticky you can take it in your hand and ball it up and uh, so that's how you want to make your real good real good um, scoops so for this color too as well I use all this color just this kind of brand paint you want to use this brand so that it gives you a nice darker brown you use this for your reds if you want a really nice deep red or deep blue or black always go for that kind of brand paint so it gives you a nice darker color I didn't I could have made this darker if I wanted but I didn't want it too dark because uh, chocolate ice cream really isn't that dark and I want to con contrast with the chocolate sauce so I went a little bit not too dark with the ice cream so we're going to take our scoop right here and we're gonna do first we're gonna do a layer of we're gonna do two layers of scoops but the first layer we don't want it um, too too big because we don't want the first scoops to be too high right so we're gonna make it a little bit smaller like that and then we're gonna go right right in the middle here there like there and we're just gonna set this aside right over here now we got the pink and I just use a variety of different pinks. There's quite a few different pinks in here, so we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna talk about what co what color I put in there because there's all kinds. So once again, we're gonna put that. As you can see, is very thick, and I'm gonna stick that right in there like that. And we're gonna go with our Usually I would cover cover them all before I go to the next one. They won't dry out too fast. It doesn't matter actually if they dry out a little bit because it's quite dry, this mixture. <laughs> so then we got a little more here. One more for our vanilla. And for the vanilla color, I just put a little bit of bright yellow to make it slightly cream. We're going to go right in there. Now, now that we did that, we are going to... There's a little bit of chocolate in there put that there okay now put that there I'm gonna grab another oop, another stick here okay so now that we got this three in there I'm gonna flatten them up a little bit with our finger like so the first time I did tried it they were way too high I'm like oh no that's not gonna work too high <laughs> I don't want my top ones to do high. so we're gonna flatten them right down like that okay and then we're gonna go back and I'm going to Makers. Now we're going to put a little more on these ones. These scoops here. Yeah, and you want to give a little bit of, put a little bit of an edge there on the sides. Okay. You want to push it down, make sure it's in there. Good. Okay. So we're going to put one in the middle. Now I had, they are perfect. I had actually <clears throat> made some, pre-made some scoops. Um, but what I discovered is that um, it doesn't fit together. 
<laughs> we even pre-make them. They don't, there's not enough room. See those, that's hard. So it doesn't, so that doesn't work. Pre-made scoops for, for this project. <laughs> you can for, if you want to stack them up or whatever, but not for this, where they have to put, sit together in this little bowl. Okay. So I'm going to go with our pink. Yeah. And as you can see, I, um, put the banana after, after this is all done, after they're all in there. Okay. Now, and I'm going to make some with no sauce. I think this is a traditional, you know, three different shades of sauces, but I might, I like the look of seeing a lot of the ice, fake ice cream part. So I think I'm going to make some with no sauce and with the whip topping on top and maybe some sprinkles. I might put sauce with sprinkles. There's so many different ways that you can make these, but I did want to make, um, I did want to make some with the traditional sauces on there. So I'm actually going to give one to our local ice cream shop. I do believe I'm going to give that one to them. They had asked me quite a while ago to make, make some, some things for them. And I never did. <laughs> so I told her I'll, uh, when I, if I ever did a video on this, I would give her a free one, just give it to her so they can display it, which will be pretty awesome. Just advertise what I do, I guess. Right. So yeah, they have great ice cream there. It's really good. Now I'm going to add a little more here. I think this one I'm gonna make I'm gonna keep this one for me and I think I'm going to just not put sauce on this one and put maybe sprinkles in the little whip topping I think that's what the plan is okay so we got our hold on maybe too much maybe too much on the edge here a lot of different steps for this project but it's not too hard, really. It's not very hard. I'm just so fussy. I think that's why I put stuff off. <laughs> okay. Now, one more here. Perfect. Awesome. So cute. I love this project. There's your little ice creams. And then we're going to take our bananas and we're going to put it right in the middle here slide it right in here and it's going to stick right in there and it's going to dry with the lightweight spackle and it's not going to move there Push this one a little more for here. There, this is such a great summer project. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. There. My family really liked this one. <laughs> my husband was impressed as well. So it's good when your hub hubby's impressed. <laughs> and the kids and the boy. I have boys, so yeah. I got no girls. <laughs> okay, so that is that. How you do that? And I like to let it dry. I got a little piece of pink. Oh, I like to, oh, there. I like to let it dry as well before I do anything else. Oh, I got some pink stuck there. There we go. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I like to let this dry quite a bit. Not com It doesn't have to dry completely, but as long as the top hardens up a little bit before I do work onto the sauce part. So we're going to set that aside right there. And then we're going to jump to one that has two different sauces already. And we're going to add the toffee sauce. So what we use for this is resin and have it already measured here. You two equal parts, part A and part B. You can buy resin at your, uh, on Amazon or my, uh, local home hardware sells it as well. So what we're going to do, like I said, this is low order, so it's really good. I always wear gloves when I use resin and, but not for the video. Um, and also, 
you know, if it's strong, some of it is strong smelling, open up doors, windows, wear a mask or whatever. It all says instructions on the box. But for this video, I am not doing any of those things, but I do always usually wear uh, gloves and open windows or whatever. Okay, so now we're going to mix the two together and I'm gonna put it in this clear little bowl, plastic cup here, so that you can see what I'm doing because I'm going to thicken, thicken it up with cornstarch, which is a whole new thing for me. I just did that a couple days ago for the first time. I didn't know, I didn't realize, which I should have realized, but I never realized you could thicken resin. So that is awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, for the sauce, you could, you can use um, caulking mixed with craft paint and a little Mod Podge. I've used that many times. Uh, I use it all the time. I still use it for other projects, for sure. Um, I think maybe now that I can thicken this, I'll probably always use resin for my sauces on my uh, ice creams. So you can put, so I'm gonna thicken it with cornstarch. Um, but there is a thickener that you can buy online. However, it looked very expensive. <laughs> it looked really expensive to me. The ones I saw. There's probably cheaper out there. I was looking on the Canadian site. Uh, maybe Michaels has. Uh, I bet Michaels probably has some. I should look next time I go. But there is specific stuff to thicken with resin out there. So today we're using cornstarch, so works works really well. And we're going to mix our resin here. We're really supposed to mix it slowly, but I don't. <laughs> I tend to go fast and you got to mix it up really well. I actually love resin, working with resin. Um, don't be afraid of it. A lot of people are afraid to use resin for the first time, but it's really no big deal at all. And it makes nice shiny uh, projects. And this using resin gives a little shine to the sauce. That I like so but it wasn't good for sauce when it was too runny so that's why when I discovered about thickening it up it was a game changer for me it was awesome and I already have squirted out two shades of my beige there of my brown toffee color I should say and as you mix it watch out for the bubbles that's why you wear a mask <laughs> once in a while there's little bubbles that fly so you're going to it's going to get really clear once it's uh it's cloudy at first but once you mix it mix it it clears up and you can add a little heat with a heat gun to get rid of the bubbles i've seen people do that so we're going to mix it just a little more there the bubbles do go away once you on its own as well there okay so that's mixed up so then we're gonna take our two shade right here i got the uh true ochre right here color mix that in there and we're going to mix a little bit of the other shade golden brown right there and also if you don't want to thicken your resin with uh, cornstarch or any thickener you can let your set your resin set for a little while and then it's going to thicken on its own but you just the thing about that is that you really you know you could time it i suppose once you discover how long it sits to the consistency that you want um, but you just have to really watch it, right? Because if it starts to harden too much, you've wasted all that resin. And resin's expensive, so you don't want to do that. There, okay, I think that's a nice shade. I'm going to start adding the cornstarch that I have right here. I'm going to put, you're going to add quite a bit. Like I said, this is a game changer. Thickening, thickening up resin. I know a lot of you probably have done it. Nothing new for you. New for me. <laughs> new for me, so. 
I just saw a comment somewhere on Facebook that someone said they use cornstarch to thicken their resin. I'm like, hmm, that sounds interesting. So I went on YouTube. There were some videos on that on YouTube. So that's how I got started. Add a little more and it is thickening up. I'll show you in a minute here. Really looking caramelly. As you can see, that looks like caramel. It's thickening right up and I'm gonna add a little more though. And I think the shade's good. I buy my sh my cherries from Amazon, eBay as well. But last time I bought them, I think from Amazon. It's been years actually since I bought cherries. So I'm not going to post any link for that because there's so many different places you can buy and different prices too. So, But that's just the two places that I, I do buy them. Now that is quite a nice thickness I think there. I think I might add a teeny more, teeny more. On that one there, I actually wish that I had added a little more thickness to it. So that's why I wanna make sure I make it extra thick. Yeah, this is really good, really good. And I think the shade is pretty good. I think it darkens up, it should darken up a little bit too as it dries. So there, that's nice thick, caramelly looking sauce. So then we're gonna take our little sundae here, banana split. I'm gonna start in the back here actually. Now you can have it dripping on the side on your banana if you want, or if you don't, whatever, that's totally up to you. Sometimes it kind of drips on there. So I'm just gonna carefully let it drip down and this is how I add it. I don't put it in a squeeze ball or bottle or anything like that because um, you're just going to ruin all your bottles. <laughs> there's no reusing it once you put, there's no reusing your bottle once you put it and then it hardens up. So I just prefer to use this, do it this way. Everybody's different. That's nice and thick. Look at that. Nice. It's going to drip down naturally and you just want to watch how much you put so it doesn't drip everywhere okay we're gonna turn it around there oh this one's nice and thick it's thicker than the one I made yesterday so that's good Sometimes you make things and you're like, oh, I should have done this. And then you learn next time. Next time I'm gonna do it thicker. <laughs> this looks so good, I love it. I love using this resin for this sauce, it's awesome. I think some people probably use the uh, gloss um, caulking, clear caulk. Um, I do use some for some project I just started using some of it but it's no order to it it's not the big ones it's just a squeeze bottle it's not the big ones that you need the the gun with that kind of caulking is extremely the smell is unbelievable so I didn't want to work with that at all so that's why I went with this and I was so happy that to discover this works I'm gonna put add a little more in there and have it drip down inside our dish there okay now and if you make make your resin and you find it's not overly thick you can go back over it let it dry a little bit harden a little bit and uh, go back over it with another layer if you want to do that now oh, that is that's looking really good I have to say yeah A little more, I guess. Okay. 
now let's set that so that's our toffee sauce right there cool and then we're gonna add our fake nuts corn cob bedding wherever lens and like I say my next ones I think I might try putting fake sprinkles I also have that, that um, those little tiny beads that I love to use too. What are they called? Caviar beads. Yeah, I buy them from Etsy. I love those as well. Okay, so we added our nuts to it. And if you don't like where a nut went, you can take it out. There we go. There. Okay. So. our nuts fake nuts I don't recommend using real nuts use fake corn cob bedding now next step is our uh, lightweight spackle mixed with a little bit of bright yellow and I have it already bagged here and ready to go and I use the 1m tip I think it's 1m yep 1m tip right here For this <clears throat> now clean the tip off I had it in a bag as you can see that's where I store it if I am I use this last night if you want to use it the next day you put it in a bag wrap wet toilet uh, not toilet paper paper towel around the end and it keeps it from drying up so then we're gonna go on top here we're gonna add our little whip topping and I'm not I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I add. So we're just gonna add these, these ones here. I don't want this slide off, that's not quite dry. So we're just gonna put our, oh, oh, how'd that get there? Oh, okay, there we go, that's all right. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna look at this angle, make sure everything looks good and straight there so that's how I did that so like I said we're gonna let that one dry I'm not gonna add whip topping I'll add that later so that's how we make the banana split traditional with all the three sauces like I said I think the next one I'm gonna leave, make with no sauce maybe put a little sprinkles in here this part I'm not sure but anyhow there are so many different ways you can make this I hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and I hope you have a great day love ya bye bye